Now to Tamil Nadu, where the DMK released its uh, manifesto and its list of 21 candidates for the elections. Key highlights of its manifesto included a promise of waiver of cooperative loans, a slash in petrol, diesel and LPG prices to a repeal of the CAA and revoking of the national education policy, among several others. Key candidates for the DMK include, as expected, strong incumbent MPs like parties, parliamentary party leader T.R. Balu, Thutukudi MP Kanimuri Karunanadi, Dhanadi Maran from the traditional central Chennai constituency of the Maran family. The party has uh, though replaced 10 incumbents in its list. Some interesting fights as well. Uh, I believe we can go across to my colleague Sam Daniel from Chennai. Uh, Sam, some interesting fights as well as far as the DMK is concerned. Some shuffling of seats with the Congress. Uh, give us the larger calculus in terms of keeping incumbents and fielding new candidates for the party. The larger picture, Viraragav, is that they have ensured 10 new faces uh, are given place and two of them are grassroots workers to make sure there is no perception that only moneyed people and children of high-profile leaders can be MPs. But there are certain uh, good number of sitting MPs, including Kanimoli, T.R. Balu, Dayanidhi Maran, Tamilachi Tanga Pandian, have been given uh, birth. And one interesting phase is uh, Tanga Tamil Chelvan in Thani constituency, where last time the Congress had uh, lost it. EVK Silangovan fought there and lost. And Tanga Tamil Chelvan is originally from AIADMK. And uh, in that sense, the party has rewarded him. In Salem, you have former Tamil Nadu minister Selva Kanapadi, who was disqualified for some time because of a conviction. And later, Supreme Court acquitted him, and now he has been given a birth. And there are two grassroots workers, but only three women candidates. Although the DMK, like the BJP, is saying it stands for women empowerment and for 33% reservation, on the ground they are still waiting for the real official implementation date. But they argue that there's no point in one party alone fielding more candidates because if they were to fight against male candidates, and again, there will not be a level playing field. That's their argument. But in terms of their promises, it's a mix of populism and politics. In terms of populism, they say they will offer 1,000 rupees monthly uh, assistance for women across India. They ca they'll completely uh, reduce the price of petrol to 65 a litre and uh, 75 a litre and diesel at 65 a litre and LPG at 500 if the India Alliance captures power at the center and uh, toll plazas on national highways will be, will be removed no CAA, no new educational policy, no common civil code no one nation, one poll right. and in terms of many acts or laws passed by the BGP which affect right. the common people the DMK says they will review them. A lot of this was expected in terms of the decisions that they've taken, in terms of the promises that they've made, and also in terms of candidates. We'll keep a close watch on how this pans out. Thanks very much there, Sam Daniel.